So tell me, where are you scared of the dark? When it all goes down and the lights go out, I'm not the one you wanna see. Some will and some won't, some do and some don't. Now tell me who you're gonna be. See, I couldn't really give a fuck if I am so unbearable. All that I really care about is that I'm uncomparable. They're bigger than me and they're quicker than me, but they know that nobody is sicker than me. Cause they can kill X and they can kill Y. Hello, welcome, Devil Sniper here, episode number 25, season number 5 of our career mode with West Ham United. And yes, we did bring Carlos Tevez to West Ham. You didn't dream it, we did it. It's something we want to do for a long time. Let's think back to season 1, season 2. We wanted Carlos Tevez, but we never had the money because he went to Bayern Munich for big, big money. He was on a big contract and eventually we thought, you know, season 3, season 4, perhaps he's too old. But you know what, season 5, we need an experienced head and we need someone like Carlos Tevez within the club to give us a bit of confidence. And do you know what? Carlos Tevez, Carlos Tevez version 2 and Filippo all playing in the same game would just be absolutely sickening. I think it would be absolutely fantastic. And hopefully it all goes well. It was a big, big risk, but we've got plenty of cash in the bank to correct it in the summer if we need to. And yes, you would have thought I'm keeping it on Legendary for this episode. Just going to be stubborn and um, continue on Legendary. He would have also gathered by the title, which said Development Squad. I'm working in the Development Squad into this episode. So, hence it's a, it's a methodical episode, because I am, I'm going to admit it, I'm a little bit nervous about introducing the actual Development Squad into the career mode. I'm not sure how it's going, a, going to go down. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are going to, you know, be like the presentation of it. Um... So it's a little bit of a risky episode, and you know I'm I'm not one of those people who who will just stick with what works because I, I don't find that you know enjoyable. I want to freshen this career mode up. I want to get you guys enjoying this career mode even more. Even though we can see the goal, a sloppy goal after 11 minutes to Aguero, which was a little bit devastating. But that's legendary for you. Can't do nothing about that. To be fair, it's poor defending by me. Let's 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 not beat around the bush. Absolutely poor defending, but that's why Diami's back in the team. That aggression in the centre of the park is much, much needed at this moment in time. Steady heads and aggression. Hence the reason, again, why I bought Tevez back. Hence the reason you're going to see a lot of the older players playing a little bit more. You know, Gab's being reintroduced a little bit more, playing a little bit more games. You know, certain players getting more game time because we need to steady the ship. Great ball by Tevez into John Gudetti, and what a finish. That was an absolutely Brilliant finish. A great ball by Tevez. Such a simple first touch, second touch, and just a simple ball into Gudetti, straight into his path, and he didn't have to hesitate. He could just bang, straight in the back of the net. 1-1 one, one at halftime. Very happy with that. But let's get back to talking about the development squad. I'm really excited about bringing the development squad into the career mode as Gudetti fires at just high. Oh, that was frustrating. With Tevez, he's not going to be a 90-minute man. There is no way. He's going to probably be sort of a 60-70 minute man. Um, perhaps he'll be brought on a lot in games more than starting games. I am definitely going to be looking forward to starting him with Gabs. Uh, them two up top is going to be pretty damn scary for any uh, defence, to be honest. I, w I wouldn't fancy playing against those two because Tevez just never stops running. He really is a fantastic player. It looks like they've got... I think that's Lars Bender they've got there. The German lad who is a fantastic player. I'm pretty sure that's Lars Bender. It could be um, the other Bender who plays... Where's There's one at Dortmund. I think there's one at is it Leverkusen. I can't quite remember. If I've got that wrong, I'm going to look a complete and utter mug. But hey-ho, you have to do it with a smile on your face. So uh, I've got a smile. And I'm nervous. As I said, I'm a little bit nervous about the whole situation. As not only did we concede a, a really bad goal... I give away a really, really bad penalty. I mean, for Jesus Christ, John. What the fuck are you doing, man? This is not good. This is not good. Baratelli against Butland. Who's going to win? Come on. Have faith. It's going to be our boy Butland. He's just a super tank. Speaking of super tanks, just before we actually go into the development squad, look at Benzir. Sticking it onto his left foot. Stick it in the top corner, my son. All my days. 90th minute goal. Thank you for EA freaking scripting. Going in our favour. And what a shot. He is just, oh, do you know what? He needs to play a lot, a lot more games. He's just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. His statistics are just devastatingly good. Absolutely devastatingly good. So a 2-2 full-time scoreline on Legendary, I'll take. I'll take it on the back. I'll pat myself, walk away with a slight smile. And we're now going to move into the development squad and... Um, the development squad basically is just going to be highlights of games. Having a look at the team. This is the squad. I've put a board around it. I'm not 100% sure if I like putting a border around it. But I wanted to segregate it. I wanted it to be separate from 
what we were actually doing with West Ham so you know that we're talking about the development squad, etc. As you can see, we've got all the players in there. Um, we've, we've obviously got Callas in there, as I've said. We've got uh, Zaha in there, Luke Shaw in there, Benzir in there. Um, just adding, it was just a case of adding depth because at this time when I built this team, I didn't actually know what other players we had to bring in as such. So um, I just wanted to add a few players in there. As you can see, we are going to get people coming and off, off of transfers. That's fine. That's that's part of having a youth development squad. That will happen. People are going to come and try and nick them. As you saw, Man City are trying to nick our players. Uh, obviously, number four is Fabio, our centre-back, who is really, really fantastic. I'm looking forward to this. I'm hoping you guys are going to enjoy it. I don't know what you want me to do presentation-wise, how you want me to present it. All the games are played on uh, world class, so it's going to be tough. Um, I basically put them in N power. I think I put them in, in the in the lowest division, the second division. As you see, 50th minute, Rocker with an absolute beast goal and a nice celebration with the shush and into the punch. Go on, my son! Great goal to uh, to get the season a crack in for the development squad who are doing really really well. Our boy Chewy down the left hand side because I don't know how to pronounce his freaking name. I call him Chewy. Great ball in and look at Miguel short. It doesn't matter how tall you are. That boy is legendary. We have a great headed goal to make it 2-0 after 57 minutes. And what a start for the West Ham development squad. Getting off to a cracking start at home to Exeter City. This is Upton Park. As you know, the McVitie's Arena is being built. So they can't use that at this moment in time. So they're playing at home at Upton Park, which is pretty damn cool. As I say, you will see like people coming in for transfers. Do you want that sort of stuff in there? Or do we just cut that out and just do literally highlights for the boys? The one thing I can't do with the lads, which is really, really frustrating, was actually do um, was actually do a, a training session. Show you doing them training. I am going to try and see if I can do it because now it's all properly downloaded. I mean, this took me forever to get this from the creation center onto my xbox it was ridiculous you've got to hate ea at times i'm sorry but you've really got to hate them so so frustrating trying to uh, to build a team i mean the, the website is so bad look at that finish there by busy busy in there with an absolute cracking goal on his weaker left foot remember he has a one star weak foot and he's right footed but look at this zaha feeding the ball into miguel miguel breaking through showing his strength he has a bit of pace to hold off the player and he slots it across trying to go for a dirty cutback zaha brings the ball back and look at our boy busy no it's tremel i do apologize i thought that was busy's goal but it wasn't it was tremel and i've got to say tremel it's going to be making an impact in the first team because he is a sensational player, I tell you. He plays on left midfield, he's left-footed, and he is honestly fantastic. Slight lacks of concentration at the back, gifting the ball away to uh, Rotherham, and uh, they slot the ball home to make it 2-1, but the boys would hold steady and we would win. So yes, that is the West Ham development squad. Just two games, two games, great victories to be fair. We scored four goals, conceded one. The development squad is now live and active. As I say, this is just one of those episodes I'm really nervous about because I don't know how to present it. I was I had so many ideas bubbling over in my head on how to do it. You know, some I thought would be fantastic, some I thought were really stupid. And I thought, you know what? Let's just do something really simple for the first episode and let you guys tell me because at the end of the day, you guys are going to have to watch it. Uh, we don't have to, obviously. That's the most stupidest thing I've probably ever said. You guys are going to be watching it. So I'd like to present it in a way that you would enjoy it. Um, so let me know in the comments below. A, if you're, if, if you're excited about the development squad. B, if you're chuffed they got some goals. And uh, Rocker and Miguel on the score sheet. And uh, C, how you want me to present it. I'll be really grateful for your feedback. Because um, I'm not sure about the whole border thing. I just wanted to segregate it and make sure people knew it was the, the West Ham development squad. Obviously, you saw the West Ham TV logo in the top corner. Um, but I didn't know if that would just be enough for people to think, oh, of course, cool, the West Ham TV or something like that. Or do I make like a, a, a really sh a short five second, ten second intro, to, you know, introducing the, uh, the development squad and we go from there? I, I honestly don't know. As I say, I had so many ideas and I could have spent so much time doing it. But I really wanted to get back on track with West Ham and start uploading West Ham on an extremely regular basis. Hence today, there's going to be an episode tomorrow. We're having an episode Tuesday. We're having an episode Wednesday. Um, and I'm thinking we're going to be having an episode uh, Friday and Saturday, Saturday again. So the West Ham career mode is coming back with vengeance. And we're going to get this season well and truly sorted out for the good, for the bad. You know, if we win, we lose, whatever. 
we're going to get this season sorted out. So it's it's a pinnacle time because it, I feel it's a time in the actual season that we can experiment a little bit. Yes, it can, some people say it could damage my channel, but at the end of the day, I'm not really fussed about that. I just want to deliver something that's enjoyable, something that's fresh, something that is you don't see. I mean, how many people have an, have a development squad in their career mode? Probably none. And uh, I find that side of it really, really enjoyable. You know, obviously we can... Um, we can introduce new players into it. We know when they come through the ranks, etc. It's going to be a lot more additional work, but I'm prepared to put that work in, to be honest. Look at Tevez with that opportunity. My God, the Juventus goalkeeper was amazing. I've got to say, got to talk about this game before we actually do finish this episode and say, Juventus, oh my God, they, on legendary, they hold the ball like absolute bastards. Absolute bastards. They play the Italian way. They dominated possession. It was it was so frustrating. We had the opportunities. They seemed very, very... Going forward, I mean, they've got an, an immense squad. I mean, whatever way you look at it, they have got a beastly squad. I mean, they've signed some decent players. They've got Sirigu in goal. I mean, they've got um, Torre up front. I mean, they've got some beast players. I mean, I was I was interested in, in, in this game, essentially, because Torre is, is a target man. And we struggle to have people who head crosses in, you know, I really would like to bring in a target man, perhaps, in the summer to uh, compliment probably John Gudetti because, you know, we don't really have a player who dominates in the air physically. And I think he could be a player who dominates in the air physically. It will depend a lot on his age. I know he's going to be like driving the Titanic and he's going to be, the turning circle is going to be absolutely horrendous. But he's a decent player from the looks of him. He played well in this game. And this is what I'm talking about. Look at the way they play the Italian football. It's beautiful. Dominating possession, holding the ball, teasing me, making me make errors, which is not too difficult. They do get the opportunity to hit the post, and I don't know how that did not go in, but West Ham has that never-die factor. Walker picking up the ball, knocking it into Isco. Isco feeds it into Benzir. Benzir, nothing on his mind but to go forward. Cuts inside, onto his left foot. Pulls the trigger, scores in the 90th minute to make it 1-0. And how important is that goal going to be? How big? Is that goal going to be in the Champions Cup? This is the first leg. This is the first leg of the quarter-final. How big is that goal going to be in this tie? Is that going to be the big goal? Will we go through over two legs with a 1-0 victory? If we do, oh my days, it'll be absolutely amazing. But as I say, guys, the episode is, uh, well, shortly will be coming to an end. I do sim a couple of games in this episode. I'm going to hold my hands up and tell you now. I'm going to sim a couple of games just purely because I do want to get a good crack on with, this, with the actual with the actual season. I don't want it to run into too many more episodes. I'm thinking probably by episode 30 the season will be over. Maybe episode 31, 32. Because obviously we're going to have England and how that goes. And I don't want you guys to start getting bored of it. So we'll be working in the development squad, not every single episode, probably next time we work the development squad in will probably be episode maybe 27, maybe 28, it depends on you guys and your feedback, if your feedback is really good and you like the way it was presented, then yes definitely in episode 27, if you want it presented in a different way, then probably episode 28 which will be Wednesday, so it's not like we've got a long time to wait, remember, this is Saturday you're seeing this on, we have an episode tomorrow which is Sunday, we have an episode Tuesday, episode Wednesday, more than likely an episode Friday and Saturday, so there's plenty of episodes to come, there's going to be plenty of content, I'm really, really, um, absolutely excited to get this career mode really bubbling, now we've got the actual development squad working and actually in the career mode, I'm happy, we just went out of the FA Cup, I'm trying to not talk about that, really don't want to talk about that, a game that I feel I shouldn't have freaking seen, but... I didn't want to put another game. I just didn't want to play another game, to be honest with you. I just literally played the, the Man City game, the, the Juventus game, and I was like, fuck, that was hard, hard, hard work. Really hard work, especially on Legendary. So we are going to drop it down to World Class for the next episode, and hopefully we're going to get a freaking winner. Please get a winner. Isco comes to our rescue, 86 minutes. Some would say that's scripting, but it's not the 90th, so you can't say it's scripting. He does get booked in the 87th, so I presume that's for his celebration, which is understandable. The boy is very passionate, but we got the three points. How long is Adrian out for? <sighs> three days. Nothing to worry about. Bruce Ribs, we're all gravy. It's all good, baby. It's all good, baby. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know it's not the normal, but as I say, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you later. So